but I do just want to focus on the defense for right now. We have forwards that can do something. Um, and we like out when we like, we usually like trading around for our NHL level forwards. Mm -hmm. And I think that trend's going to continue at least for a couple more seasons. So build the defensive core, find something that in the future that we have to retool, uh, go from there, have your guys at the ready. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And if, if you look at the Pittsburgh Penguins draft this coming weekend, obviously we talked about the first round pick ad nauseum because it's the most important one. It's the one that the Penguins haven't had since 2019 when they selected Sam Poole and number 21 overall. So there's a little bit of a, a connection there. But they also have four other picks that will be happening on Friday. Round four, they pick 118th overall, round five, 150th, round six, 182nd. And their final pick in round seven will be the 214th overall selection of the 2022 NHL draft. You mentioned the defense. I also think they need a little bit more at center depth. When yes. you look at their centers, they just lost Casper Bjorkvist potentially to Finland. We don't know his situation, but if you look at it, it's, it's Hollander. And then it's basically it. I mean, there, there's a couple other guys, but there's no real top tier centers. If you want to say Tristan Braz, who played last season at the University of Minnesota, who was the top pick for the Penguins in last year's draft, but still a second rounder, you could say that. But at the same time, you need more in that top end at the center position. I think wing is where they're a little bit better off, but they need more at center and defense, like you said. Yeah, that was going to be my follow up immediately as well. Well, defense is the chief among them, the priority here. It then dips to the center depth because. I just can't think of a name that plays center down there right now. <laughs> Didn't realize Tristan Braz was a center. Good. He's also now transferring to the University of Denver, I believe. Hmm. Uh, so th it's it's questionable down there. You need the right type of guys that, again, like I said, with the defensive core, it's a bunch of possibilities. You need the sure shots, at least one or two of them, mm -hmm. that you know they don't have to be elite level players. They can just they can be your hey. They're gonna peak at a third line center. Sure, fine. It, that means we have an NHL caliber potential player in our system mm -hmm. because we don't have many of those. It's been for how many consecutive years now that the Penguins prospect pool has been amongst the lowest in the league. Mm -hmm. We have to start building it. Whenever Ron Hextall and Brian Burke got here, they said that was going to be one of their priorities as well, was building that pool. So as much as some people might want to see us trade away the first round pick today, and I think I partially agree with them, depending on who you can get in return. Um, you have to still build something. I yeah. know that we want to win now because of the possibility of contracts coming to an end or being extended for a couple seasons. We still have to build for a future. We This team's going to suck at some point. We don't know yeah. when that is, but we can extend that. We can extend it and make us at least mediocre if we have some names that we can fall back on. It's just a matter of building it. Maybe you find a diamond in the rough. The Penguins are not have not been phenomenal as of late in drafting in the first round. Granted, they haven't had a lot of picks, mm -hmm. but the picks they've made have been ooh, scary. Um, but then there's the bargain picks that I think, at least for the Penguins in recent memory, have been the real winners. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that make the draft victories mm -hmm. rather than brutal defeats let's not forget joseph morrow who was a first round pick yeah i mean when you say that the first thing that comes to my mind is seventh round pick valtteri pustinen but we'll obviously get into yeah. all of that as time goes on